for example um, you can have a byte okay let, let me write a list of these that can handle numbers dimension b b1 as byte and the byte stores value from um, 0 to 255 dimension b2 as there there's a whole set of integers um, there's n16 okay uh, I guess it stores up to 32767 positive up to uh, down to minus 32768 if I'm not wrong dimension b3 as there is n term, I guess 32, dimension b4 as n um, 24. Oh no, there's no, I guess n64. Is there something like that? Oh, there is, okay. And so on. Okay, uh, those b's, b, uh, the byte n16, 32, n64, and um, mention n. Uh, Dimension B5 as integer, dimension B6 as long, they all store um, integer values. Okay, and as for floating point numbers, dimension C1 as single, dimension C2 as uh, double, and I think if I'm not mistaken, there is a decimal okay I'm not sure about the decimal I haven't tried it for a while actually so let me try this one c3 equal 22 over 7 and then msg box the value of the pi decimal and c3 okay so let's try and see what the decimal is. I guess it will be useful. Decimal, I think, have the highest precision between all the the variables. Okay, and of course, takes the most memory and the most time consuming. So this is the integer, the pi. This is the the double, and the decimal gives something similar. Okay, um, so. To test that, we, we can change this one a little bit. There is something called the max value. Let's try this on out. Max values. Okay. Now we're going to display the maximum values for each one of those variables. Uh, and let's do box. Byte. And by dot max value and the, if you want to see the minimum value you can use the min value msg box in 16 and in 16 dot max value msg box in 32 and in 32 dot max value msg box and 64 and n64 dot max value g box some um, integer max value okay integer long uh, long dot max value and this g box single dot max value msg box double double max value and uh, msg box mm, decimal gosh forgot that decimal and decimal dot max value so um, right now this button is going to show us each variable and what's the maximum value and if you want to see the minimum value just change this max value part into min value so let's see and okay you can see the byte 255 
the integer integer 16 this one okay I, I think I forgot to put uh, a, 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 a space gosh so they are so messed up wait a minute sorry about that this is space 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 okay so now we're on the application so this is a byte integer 16 integer 32 and the 64 and the normal integer the long which is also similar to integer 64 and this is the single value and the e uh, means it's multiplied by 10 to power 38 this is the double oh it's multiplied by the power to 308 and this is the value of decimal like as i told you decimal is having the biggest uh, range of numbers that can be okay it's amazing and okay so this is it with the um, variables that handle numbers there are other type of variables okay um, let's come to strings okay string is used to store uh, statements string okay. and in order to define that dimension str a string so str equal hello and we can add more to that so str equals str and um, my friend okay now this variable is holding the word the word hello and then i add to that my friend this uh, this a symbol uh, tells the computer to get the value of this variable and add this one into it okay this like uh, linking two statements using this operator okay finally msg box str okay so now if we press string you can see hello my friend okay so basically the string data type is used to store um, words or statements and comments and stuff like that okay this is an important one okay uh, in addition to that we have what is called um, date the date is pretty interesting okay the date is used to store one of two things uh, either date time 